I love watching those. There'll be more classic Floyd on next week's show, but now it's time to find out whether Lara will be facing food heaven or food hell. Everybody here's mm -hmm. made their minds up. Food heaven would be this piece of salmon. Which would be absolutely delicious. Of course. <laughs> uh, which Andrew was a gentleman. He wanted food heaven. So that was two all. However, food hell could be bananas. Mm hmm what do you reckon these like, the rest of the three decided to go of course for? bananas <laughs> unfortunately they did yeah. yes not my fault but blame these andrew was the gent amongst everybody there oh, you go dear. lose that out of the way that's the last time i go down to the riviera yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, you can make a little custard and do yep. a pastry i need to get on and line our tart for this so first thing we're going to get on is our pastry which we got here excuse me a second so we've got a pastry i'm going to show you simon's going to show you how it's made really but butter flour vanilla uh, some sugar and an egg. That's that. See that part I can do. Well, this bit's easy. This is e easy. So the, the, the thing is about pastry, the least you work it, the better it is. So whenever mm -hmm. I'm making with pastry, you always make it by hand. That's the key. Mm -hmm. And by making it by hand, you actually keep it nice and short. If you make it in a machine, it tends to toughen up a bit too much. Especially if you're doing sort of. If you remember when, you know, your gran used to cook when you used to have those sort of. Well, my grand used to have the Yorkshire curd tarts and put them in the mouth and they almost melt. It's because you used to sit and uh, rub butter and flour together while watching Corrie. Half Spooks an hour wasn't later. on then, you see. <laughs> but uh, literally, she would do that and rub it together with her hands and it would just create this lovely short pastry. So we've got our bananas, which we can create. Now, to line our tartlet tin, you lift that above the mould, like that, and drop it in. You don't place it on the top. Mm -hmm. Don't stretch the pastry at this point. That sits in the bottom. You know I'm never going to make this, James, don't you? Well, I'm <laughs> it's trying my to tempt hell. you. <laughs> There's also three million people at home no, who might want to make okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we literally just pop that around like that, all the way around. Now, I actually don't trim, trim off the pastry until the end. So what I do is basically we got... And I use cling film, not... None of those fancy baking beans, you know, or a little bit of flour. Just use cling film. Um, and Ooh. some rice. There you go. Bacon beans are good because you can keep them for longer, of course. But, but in the, the restaurant, for us, mate. Got a knife. we never have enough bacon beans to make for all that. And then you just bake, put it in the fridge, bake it blind. Mm -hmm. And then we have got one that's in the oven that's been baking blind. Now, this has gone in there roughly for about sort of 15 minutes, about 170. There you go. We'll lift off our. Mixed it like that. Now, you can't use the rice after that, before you ask. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you can't take your egg. Boil in a bag, no. Yeah, you can't use it. So <laughs> take your egg, and then while it's still warm, we brush it with egg yolk. And what that does, any little holes that you've got in, it just seals them up while it's still hot. Oh, I see, so nothing will leak through. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Damn, no banana can leak That's through. That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan. So we've got our bananas ready. I think I'm just chopping away. Don't yeah, need to do too many, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, and we just Enough. chop these up. There you go. We pop it in. Those. I don't know what's wrong with these things. See? See, to me, it's the ultimate comfort food. So, when you were ill, bananas and custard. We've got rum in there as well. Wow. My mum would used to put rum in there to make you better, but also knock you out when you were six years old. But. <laughs> And pop that, reduce the temperature of the oven down, and we bake that in the oven now. Can now, I help? It's all right, you can, that's yeah, fine. So you knock the oven down to about 320, that's Fahrenheit, it's about 150 degrees centigrade. Gas mark three, and just gently cook it for about half an hour till it sets, and we end up with this. Oh, it could be a quiche if I. If it could I, be, if it I could be. My brain. Yeah, yeah, a banana quiche. A banana, banana quiche. Flambe <laughs> bananas there. Wow. Good at that, They're sorted off with some uh, <laughs> sugar, some butter, and oh, no, I don't know what else you got in there. You get rum you put in there? Rum and space, mm -hmm. banana, banana, little bit of rum. Space. Nice. Sam is still messing around making pastry over here, but <laughs> that's the idea. Is you rub... It's spetsly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> is you rub the butter and the, the, the flour together to get mm -hmm. it nice and fine. Then you add the sugar, then you add the vanilla, and then you add an egg. And you mix it all together and it creates this quite delicate, short pastry, which is what we want. And then finish that off. You can leave it to colour like this. Wow. What I do is just finish this off, you see? And that just kind of caramelises the top. Just caramelises the top. You can use icing sugar over the top. Just caramelises the top of it. 
So rather than just eggy, it's then got a little bit of flavour mm -hmm. to it. And then we can lift this off. Wow. The cinnamon smells good. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking away the smell of banana for me. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And we lift up. You see? Wow. It does look good. I do give you that. <laughs> Pastry. There you go. And then we got our bananas, which is looking good. We can pile that on there. These are the cinnamon and sort of nutmeg bananas. And then, of course, me being me, it has to have either ice cream on it, which would be great, but we've got clotty cream. Devon. Devon clotty cream, there you go. <laughs> Riviera <laughs> cream. Riviera oh, cream. Exactly. Riviera. <laughs> but you kind of dive into that, really, and... and my goodness. Yeah. I'm not diving, but I will but there try. You <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, we don't often get food hell on this yard, I'll be honest with you. God, why are they so mean? Don't they know I'm part of MI5? It's not you, it's, it's the ingredient, I think. There you go. Yeah, OK. I think everybody can have salmon, but then seeing something like this and doing it differently, dive into that, tell us what you think. OK. Come on, I'll be brave. It's not going to kill you. No, I know. <laughs> it's bananas and custard. It's the best, best combination in the world. Do you know what? It's not hell. Yeah, well, that's the whole point of it. There <laughs> yeah, you go. Yeah, it's seriously not hell. Now, to go, this is, to go with this, Peter has chosen a wow. Mafro Daphne of Patras mm. Kotaki. It's on the screen. It's Greek <laughs> wine. <laughs> there you go, £5.99. I'm glad you were that one. There wow. you go. <laughs> I'm actually going to be, into that. I'd be brave enough to, ch mm. to try his... There you Thank go. you very much. Ladies, well. it's all yeah. we got. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we're left with that, so you're left holding that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's off today in Sunday Kitchen. Thanks to Simon Olsen, Andrew Fairley, and uh, La Lara Pulver. Cheers to Peter Richards for the wine choices. And today, Chef's Hotel guests, Vicky and Georgina, which are happy at the moment. <laughs> all the today's recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. We'll be back at the usual time at 10 o'clock. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs>